Uh, good evening, traders. Uh, what I want to share with you here today is uh, how to trade future pairs here on Tastyworks platform. Um, as you can see, uh, right here, I have the, the mini um, NASDAQ up backslash MNQZ. And then when you want to trade, you go to this uh, trade mode right here. And you go down and you pick pairs. And that will bring this pairs trader up where you can enter both the uh, both orders simultaneously. And one of the things I like about this is you can like right here, I'm going to I got it set up to go long the NASDAQ and short the Russell. And if you click on this little icon right here, it brings it a chart up. OK, so you can see um, you have the option to go to a one year chart. Uh, one month chart, or I like to trade it with a daily chart. So you can see um, what the there's there's quite a bit of movement in these pairs, and uh, the commissions on this is around six dollars in and out. So uh, you want to trade, you know, I, I say a minimum of what they call notional value uh, of twenty dollars. If you buy it, like right here at 20,661 you'd want to sell it for 20,681 minimum now you know you can I've seen guys on here trade it and they, they don't take it off unless they make a hundred dollars or fifty dollars or you know but I, I like to do 20 to 25 it gives you an opportunity to trade it you know four or five sometimes I've traded as many as ten times in a day now one thing about trading these um, is you set this um, price, for example, right here, as you can see, uh, around the 20,640 mark, there's a lot of support. So if I drop this thing down to 20,640, you can click your clicker down here like this, or you can uh, just come across here and backspace it out and hit in 40. And since the arrow here is that or less than, you put review and send, order placed you got that little notification the order is placed now when it becomes notional value of 20,640 or less it will trigger a market order and you may get a fill for say 20,635 or you might get it for 20,645 or it could be the 20,640 it could be exactly what you ordered but with market orders, there's, there's always the risk of a little movement um, either for you or against you when you place the trade. And the same thing when you go to sell it. Um, uh, you, you hit this little button right here, and it's the same price, but this is to sell because it's got this minus sign in front of it. Okay. Um, and as you can see, you'll notice the orders here. Watch this it says M2, and I'll flip it back, and it's MN. So that's that's just reversing your original order. Okay. Um, if you hit this little icon right here, it brings up. As you can see, this has got a little list here of my pairs. Now this this pair right here is what current one I have popped in, and I'll click on this to show you. Hey, you can you can trade the spy and the QQQ, or any particular pair you want. And it also comes from Tasty Work with some presets. And under the heading of futures, you can see they got some bond pairs, gold and silver, um, NASDAQ and the SPY, Russell, and so on and so forth. They even got some currency pairs. 6A is the Australian dollar, and 6C is the Canadian dollar. Uh, you can go here to Tasty Works has what they call the small exchange, and they've got some preset in there for the small. Uh, Bat, that's Tony Batista. He's he's got some of these pairs set up. That's his. And then stocks. You can go in and, and, and pick stocks. For example, you could make a gold silver trade. Um, or this right here, this is an interest rates trade. And it's not going to change right now because we're after market. But that, it, it makes pairs trade easier. Um, this is kind of one of my uh, go-to trades as of right now. Um, I've been doing fairly well at, at trading these pairs trades. And um, it doesn't take, uh, they give you a little break on the 
futures when you do this as far as the capital requirements versus just doing two future contracts right out and out because you're you're these these um, you know they tend to move if you're short one and long the other they they tend to kind of offset and, and as you can see they do have some movement but they're not wild radical movements so um consider trading these take a look at it and you know if your broker platform doesn't offer this type of a, a setup you can just simply enter the trades one at a time uh by just you know buying the nasdaq and selling the russell or whatever you want to do um it, it, i think it's a, a less uh less risk involved than just buying a future straight out so um i hope you uh learned something here today and um good luck to you out there